Hello, today I will be showing you how to make one of these Park Zone One Cell LiPo chargers run on the wall and still have a functioning LED. I'm going to give you a brief summary of everything I did to make this E Flight Park Zone or Hobby Zone One Cell charger that only takes double A's into a wall charger. I used a 5 volt. Oops, 5 volt, 1 amp power source. Took the wires, cut them, stripped them. I took the negative wire right here, cut it and strip it. Took the positive, cut it and strip it. And with the LED, I took the positive wire, cut it and strip it. So with all of the positive wires from the cell phone, from the charger, and from the LED, I tied them all together and soldered them. And I took the two black wires and soldered them together. Okay, what you want to do first is make sure you put a hole right here, which I did as an example later on in the video. But I forgot to do that, so what I did, I just took my hot soldering iron, just pressed it down right here on this little tray part, made a hole just big enough for the wires to fit through. I can close it and screw it, and it's all good. Okay, if you want a little more instruction, watch the rest of the video. Thanks. First, what you need to do to get upside down, and these four little rubber parts right here, just pull those off with your fingers or some pliers, and then you will see some screws. Okay, I now have... Okay, I now have all of the little rubber stopper things off, and you can see there are four small screws. So what you need to do is take a small screwdriver and remove all of these screws. So once you have those screws off, you can just easily Oh, well I have a sticker right there, but you can just pull these two parts off. And then here's what you will see. Okay, so. There is where it plugs in. There's your LED. And here's your big board. And on the newer ones, they have a connector so if you have a 1.5 amp 6 volt DC power supply by eFlight which costs like 15 bucks you can just plug it right in and there's no need to do this, this mod. Take the red LED wire and connect it with these two red wires so what I did is I cut this red wire from the LED you can see it I cut it and then I stripped it and I'm gonna connect it right here and what you need to do is at the beginning when I was wrapping these wires together wrap this one in it too. I'm going to take my wire cutters cut that okay now I'm going to strip the wires and after you're done stripping them use the LED one as well I forgot to do that while I was recording this so use the LED red wire and strip that as well and then twist them all together and then apply the solder which I will show you momentarily. Take your positive wire from your wall charger and you will need to strip that as well. Really, really, really make sure you know which one is positive and which one is negative. Make sure those two Good connection. Twist them up together. See, I have them twisted up together like that, and that should work. And now I have my other wire from the cell phone charger. I'm going to wrap that up in there too. Just wrap it around. Then what you'll need to do is take your soldering iron just 
So make sure all those wires have actually a really good connection. So I'm going to take my soldering iron, which should be heated up by now, and I'm going to tin it with solder. Put some solder on the top, and the solder should go by itself and connect to the wires. Once you have a clean bond with all of them, take it off, give it a nice little blow, and don't touch it for a while because it will be hot. Okay, I now have all of my wires prepared. I have this wire stripped and this one as well. And I have my cell phone charger. I have the negative lead on that stripped as well. So twist these together. Okay, so I have these two wrapped together. And it won't focus. There you go. See either wrap together and then you have your cell phone wire right here just wrap that up in it just have them both twisted together all happy the LED has two wires one is orange one is red so the red wire, you connect to the red, the other positive wires, and don't worry about the orange wire at all. So the only soldering you're doing is from the, from the charger itself to the wall outlet. Here I forgot to make a hole and feed the wires through before I connected the wires to the charger. So what I'm doing right here is melting a small part where I can fit the wires through so I can put it all back together and make it look nice. And that should be plenty of room for my wires to go through. Okay, so I now put the screws back in. Just to make it look nice, I'm going to put the bottom back on. And we're going to test it out just to make sure it works. Grab my battery. Let's see. Let's hope this works. And there you go.